to the Newmark Stadium here in Bangkok. And well, we've a six match semi-final Saturday to bring you. Our first match has been confirmed. Chan Pung Soon of Malaysia and Go Liu Ying as top seed safely through in a straight game win. Just 34 minutes it took them. There we are, confirmation of that mixed doubles result then at the top of the order of play today, but we still have five more matches to bring you on today's generous order of play. It's the seventh seed, Brice Levadez of France, who uh, takes on in this Franco-Singaporean battle. Kian Yu Lo, ranked 125 in the world. The Singaporean qualifier is uh, on a rampant run here through the men's singles draw. Our players are making their way to the court as we speak. There is the men's singles draw. The esteemed decorated Lin Dan at the very top there. He's had a bumpy road so far. He's been far from convincing, really. Each of his matches have gone the distance. He takes on Lu Guangzhou, the eighth seat. That'll be later this evening. But for now, it's Brice Levadez, the Frenchman against Lu Qian Yu, the qualifier from Singapore. How will he go? The only unseeded player left in the men's draw, right at the foot of it. He took out Wang Tzu Wei late last night. It took him an hour and nine minutes, 21-11 in the deciding game. Now, it's an interesting clash, this one, because Brice Levadez lost to Kian Yu Lo of Singapore four years or so ago. And, uh, well, he'll want to avenge that defeat from back then. That was in the Bitburger Open of 2017. He didn't have a great year last year, Brees. He lost uh, in seven first round losses throughout 2018. Versus so he'll be looking Kian to turn a Singapore. new page in 2019. He's the sole surviving European in men's singles, one of two starting Frenchmen in the draw, Lucas Corvey. You'll remember he lost out in the second round to Wang Tzu Wei, who was downed by Lo of Singapore. Here he comes, qualifier, he must be tired. He's come through a couple of qualifying matches, starting on Monday. And uh, well, he's here, he survived, more importantly. It's been a long, windy uh -huh. road for him. How much now has he got left in the tank? Malaysia. So First meeting between these two. Ramida Asawaposo from Thailand. Kamakan Putatsin, Lao Chun Lia Jak Pratet Malaysia. Kamakan Kamkakan Song Lung, Ramida Asawaposo Jak Pratet Thai. Well, I didn't catch any of that, and uh, my lip reading's not great. Um, so I don't know who's going to serve from which end, but there we are anyway. Our first uh, glimpses of Brees Levadez. He's ranked 30th in the world, is Brees. He has been as high as 19 in the world back in July of last season. 32 years old these days. And, uh, confirmation of his ranking there, as you can see. Semi-finalist at the European Championships last year was pretty much his best result. Lost in the uh, second round of the Scottish Open, having received a bye in the first round. So, uh, and he took the title uh, in Glasgow in 2013. But he's uh, breezed through here, has Brees. Uh, fairly comfortably the seventh seed, as you can see, yet to concede a game. And, uh, uh, quite a tight match with Li Jia, the young Malaysian talent, in the round prior. And you'd imagine Li will be heading towards Tokyo with all of his improvements that he's made. But Brees Levadez downing him in straight games, having had a mixed season last year. What about this young man? Well, only 21 years old. Ranked uh, 125 in the world, has been as high as 111. That was in September of 2016, so he's been around a while, despite his uh, tender age. Born in Penang in Malaysia, moved to Singapore. And that's his long journey through, emphatic passage through his first four matches. Not detained in over 
over 40 minutes there, but then had a, an hour and nine minutes he needed to get past Wang Tzu Wei. That was a really good win against the 29th ranked player in the world and sixth seed. He won the Mongolian International, did Lo, and was runner up in the South Australia International Series. Malaysian umpire and a Thai service judge. So how will the qualifier go then against the experience of Brice Levadez of France, the seventh seed at the Ladies foot of the men's gentlemen. singles draw this one? On my right, Brice Levadez, France. Vying for a spot and in on tomorrow's left, final. Lo Kenyo, Singapore. Brice Levadez to serve. Love all. Brice Levadez against Kian Lo of Singapore. Championships. He lost in the semi-finals last year before he was downed by the big tall Dane, Victor Axelsson. No shame there, of course, for the 32-year-old Frenchman. What a start from the qualifier here. Precision and pace. One, two. Coach on the edge of the seat. It's been a long road for them this week, but they both seem uh, fully energized. Look at this. That was thunderous, that one. A couple of round of 16 showings for him this year. Singapore Open and the Saar Law Lux Open as well for Law. But this, for sure, is his best ever showing at this level for Lo. And you'd imagine that at 125 in the world, he'll be eyeing the top 100 as one of his goals for 2019. Both men will have been on various social media platforms to watch video footage of each other. Always a little nervy in a first meeting against an opponent. Be aware of each other's plight through the draw path. And I guess for the Frenchman, it's all about trying to so maneuver his opponent to all four corners Three, as much as he can, four. because the Singaporean qualifier must be slightly fatigued, even if he is at that tireless age of 21. That's gone. Levadez edging to the front Three. again. His memorable uh, one Grand Prix gold title back then was at the Scottish Open in 2013 for Levadez. Well, he's been a stalwart of the French national team Three. since 2008 and became French national champion did Levadez for seven consecutive years between 2008 and uh, 2015.
Well, he's a lone wolf, is Levadez. Can't see any evidence of a coach courtside for him. By contrast, his opponent very engaged with his coach throughout, almost uh, giving him moral support along the way, seemingly. Fabulous play from both athletes. Service over. Six. Four. Deadly accurate there from Levadez. Just inside the sideline, that one. Slightly short lift away. Got its uh, treatment. Seven, well, he's pretty fearless, the Frenchman. He was the talk of the badminton world early in the World Championships a couple of years ago. He ambushed the title contender in Glasgow, taking down Eight, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia four. in the first round. Is richly talented is Levadez, and already he has engineered a cushion of four points in this opener. Missing the straight drop there. It's such a wonderful cross block off the backhand from Levadez, but unable to sustain the brilliance. Look at that. Defensive prowess, but then missing the fairly routine forehand. Straight drop. So the 21-year-old here has always won the opening game of each of his contests thus far. Again, the world number 30, keeping the pressure on the Singaporean qualifier. Scoreboard pressure just weighing heavy on the young man's shoulders. But you doubt he's ready to say goodbye to Bangkok just yet. Snatching of that one little easily done. <laughs> it's the talented Never Frenchman, Brice Levadez, who it's breezes to an 11 5 lead in this opening game. Just a few too many mistakes from his opponent so far, and he has been that little bit more watertight. So, seven minutes played, 11 5 to the good, Levadez. been relentless from the Frenchman who is on a roll right now he goes he's a very streaky player by nature it's just the way that he rolls he he's got a sort of swagger about him he's got an imposing kind of personality on court and he's scared of no one when he gets on these kind of rolls he's very difficult to contain Now then, can this young 21-year-old from Singapore, Eleven, Kian Yu Lu, re-engage here and really get the bit between his teeth as he has done so well in his previous matches? Well, I kind of half expected coming in here, what with the golf in ranking, that this might be a little lopsided. But that said, it was Wang Tzu Wei who was downed in the previous round by the qualifier, and he's a top 30 player himself. Third 
14. Great deception there from Levadez, though. Tough to get a read on him. Oh, that's how to turn the point around. How about that? Levadez, we thought he was down and out in that point, but just immaculate defense. Longest rally of the match, that one. 39 shots of brilliant badminton on show court one. Qualifier proving a handful, but it is now six straight points for the Frenchman. I <laughs> love the reaction. He's really enjoying his time here in Bangkok. Some wonderful badminton from him. Indeed, both, to be fair. The qualifier having won five matches to get here. Very busy coach at the back of the court. Too cocky there with that reverse slice, and he knows it. Half smile breaks out over his face in acknowledgement of that. Perhaps a little too audacious there, the Frenchman. So the run of points stops at six for Levadez. Can low build from here? Coach very gesticulative. Done. Just seems to have a little bit more power on tap, doesn't he? Lowe seems a little lightweight with the smash relative to Levadez, who's been much more punishing up above. Good, diligent persistence from the qualifier here. Desperate to detain the seventh seed. That's gone. Service over 67. seems to have a little bit too much precision and pace for this young man who's done so well this week you have to credit him for his efforts but is this the end of the road for the Singaporean yeah just can't get a read on that one Taking the shuttle just a little earlier. Upping ah! his pace of shot and movement as Levadez throughout this opening game. Ten point cushion now for the Frenchman. Ah! 
well played. For a while then, I got the sense that it's kind of an unassailable, the lead that Levadez had. There, a nice injection of pace from Lo. Well, that is encouraging, just when you thought perhaps he was running out of gas. Levadez, who is so immaculate in defense of his court, so good at turning points around. Another long, grueling rally, and that's part of the tactic from the Frenchman for sure, just to fatigue the youngster, who for a while there produced a mid-match, mid-game flurry. Denied again by a persistent, belligerent Levadez here. So again, it's a 10-point cushion for the Frenchman. Three points away from securing the opening game. Service over. 9-18. This is a fine shot. Misjudgment there from Levadez. It's in, a long way in. Service over. That was a tired 19. decision no. there from Lo. And Levadez opts to rush for the towel quickly as the court attendant's on, just mopping up any drops of sweat. So just a quick uh, slurp, towel down, and they'll re-engage pretty quickly. Levadez with uh, massive momentum here, just two points away from putting one foot into the final. game relies on control and precision rather than blistering attack and you do sense that Levadez has that little bit more ten of them game points that is for Brice Levadez of France minute attempt to salvage some pride and dignity here on show court one for Lo the Singaporean in this opening game all bodes well for game two though yeah, got a little luck there that's a hat-trick of points for the 20, Singaporean now 20. still seven game points to fend off that's missed as well <laughs> 
careful because uh, any complacency will be will make Levadez a little tense, you'd imagine. Not so. It's the world number 30, Brees Levadez, the seventh seed here, who snatches the opening game. 21 points to 14 after 19 minutes played. It just looks like he has a little bit more in defence as well as attack so far. He's made his opponent twist and turn and ine inevitably, having played five matches, this young man, 21-year-old, it's resulted in errors and uh, it's tough to play with that kind of quality when you're this deep, having had such a deep run into the tournament but his athletic uh, elasticity is quite outstanding certainly bodes well for the future for Lo. Levadez, well, he's varied the attack lines well. Good mid-court pressure driving at the body of his opponent. So our players back for game two. Levadez, the Frenchman, the seventh seed here at the bottom of the men's singles draw. Halfway home to a place in tomorrow's final. Here we are at the start of game Play. two, Levadez to serve. I tell you what, I hope he's rewarding his coach well because uh, every time he engages with him, he seems to come out on top of some of these points. Look. It's on the line as well, suggests the linesman with his palm down. So it's a rampant start to game two here for Kian Yu Lo. Body blow there as well. Where's this come from? Really upping the energy level, the qualifier now. Five in a row for him. Certainly knows he's got to work at a higher tempo against such a quality player as uh, Reese Levadez. And he's doing just that. Super play from Levadez there, really getting stuck in deep. Didn't want to go six love down in the second game. Really laid down a good solid platform there and made the qualifier work extremely hard. That was a great save there to turn the point around. Immaculate defences. And in the end, draws out, lulls the error from low. Look at that. That's how to turn a point around. It was precision badminton from the qualifier. Just missing this one here. On court two, mixed double semi-final. 
สนามที่สองประเทศที่ประสบรอบรอบรอบการที่ผู้ชมจะสามารถเข้าไปสู่การแข่งขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันขันกรรมการผู้ตัดสินทีมจอนจอนจากประเทศเกาหลีใต้กรรมการกำกับการส่งลูกเวียนเวียนจากประเทศเวียดนามอ well, ีสับไปกับนี่ตอนนี้คุณรู้สึกว่าเขาต้องกลับมาในชีวิตได้ง่ายขึ้นเลยที่เลเวอร์เดสเพราะที่สองเกมนี้ถูกลงไปลูกเขาเป็นคนที่ถูกลงทุนมากในเกมสองมีความมั่นใจกับเขาอยู่แล้วจะเขาสามารถทนได้ไหมสามารถทนกอนวิ่งไปที่ห้องน้ำของการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จจากการแข่งขันในเกมสองของประเทศที่ประสบผลสำเร็จ
Well, he must be running on fumes, the Singaporean, having won five matches now, but his coach is doing a grand job of keeping the energy and keeping the enthusiasm in his charge, and he's done very, very well in game two here. It's a six-point cushion in favor of Lo. Can he detain the seventh seed for a little longer here and maybe extend his stay to a third game? Suddenly, there's been a dramatic turnaround in game two here, and Lowe very much with the momentum yet again. Three consecutive points for the qualifier. really encouraging for all Singapore fans to watch Lowe play because he's, he can live with the best here. He's really acquitting himself very, very well. And that's just pressure service there, hour. the service error 14, from Levitas. Six. Suddenly, things really looking up for this youngster. Scoreboard rattling away from Levitas now at some speed. This young man's won four of the last five points. been a seismic change in momentum here from the start of game two. The qualifier really upping the tempo. We had to after the opener. And you can sense that Levadez is kind of so, so, uh, smacked with hesitation and angst right now. He's just hoping that the storm will pass. Super play, great cross smash. Look at that, such a steep angle created by a terrific young athlete. Thank you. French fans will be looking on anxiously. Levadez having had such a stranglehold after the opener. And he's got a more business-like predisposition about him on court now, Lo. Looks more engaged with the match, far more settled and used to the patterns of play of Levadez as well. So a 10-point cushion, surely we're going the distance here on show court one. signs now pointing to a deciding game but the way that the youngster on the left of your picture there has been playing it's been sustained brilliance from him
Is it too little too late from Levadez in game two here? Or can he rebuild? Good leave from Lok. There's a nonchalant ease to this second game for the Singaporean qualifier. He's now got 11 game points. Service over 10 20. We are indeed going the distance. 21-10. Low secures the second game after 35 minutes played. And uh, well, it's exact parity on the scoreboard. Don't go too far. We're going to have a deciding game any time soon. We'll get this, total points one, Kin Yu Lo 35, Brees Levadez 31. And that was an emphatic scoreline, 21 points to 10 for the qualifier in game two. So the Frenchman here very much with his work cut out. Final Who will game. it be that gets into tomorrow's showpiece final here in Bangkok? It's Lo to get game three of the way. Is it an ends issue? Is it a drift thing? Those quirky nuances of badminton that's oh so important. Will Levadez be able to steady the French ship going into this decider? Hey! Hey! Service over one. Four. Beautiful response. Levadez just uh, caught going the wrong way there. It's gone. The coach likes what he's doing though. Levadez again bring in parity to the overall match score now and he's looking pretty pumped he knows he's got to bring his best right now nothing less will do well he's got to take the attack to the Singaporean there's no doubting that but he's got to do it consistently can't 
can't afford those unforced errors. A dig there from Keen Yu Lo. How about that? Reflexive brilliance. After a very intense, speedy rally. Just watch this finish here. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Pulled the rabbit out of the hat there. Never tire of watching points like that. What an effort from the 21 year old qualifier who's played five matches to get here. No signs of fatigue. All from the coach. Oh, that's a super point from Levadez because Lowe was firing on all cylinders and it was deception to the max in the qualifier. Levadez keeping his eye well and truly on the shuttle there, just finding a slight hole in the court. So these are hard fought points in this decisive game. Working so hard to move the bigger man around. Five, three. Got to be proactive. He knows it, as does Levadez. Lost a lot of matches at the back end of last season, 2018. He's not in that winning habit, and despite winning three matches here, he doesn't look entirely convincing, Brees Levadez. Service so well. Five, six. He'll be assured by the gulf in world ranking between these two athletes. Almost a hundred spots between them on that list. But it's a ranking for the Singaporean that really doesn't do justice to his talent. And you'd imagine he'll be romping up the ranking list pretty soon, particularly if he can win this match and get the generous points and prizes that abound here in this World Tour Super 300 level event. Levadez bites back with a great cross smash. Both looking for a golden start to 2019. Play. What a excellent straight drop to secure the point from Lowe, who is really moving very, very quickly about the court now. No signs of fatigue at all. He is motoring around. Look at that. There's an elegance to that. Still-minded gaze of a man who is extremely focused right now. Levadez just confirming there's a few drops of sweat over here. Look, attendant. Thank 
Thank you. Now, this young man who played such an excellent second game with a two-point cushion on the scoreboard right now, but the Six. Frenchman Play. looking extremely focused as well. There's no telling who's going to come through this one. Lebedeus just clinging on to the coattails of Low, the qualifier, nine. desperately right now. That was a really energetic point from the Frenchman, stopping the run of points at two for Low. He goes on these little runs, though. Oh, almost made the back behind, but it's all Service fist bumping for Kian Kulo. First meeting between these two, and I think Lavadez is quite surprised at the level that the qualifiers managed to not only achieve but sustain. Both men very ritualistic here, just it's their way of calming themselves and heading to that very focused place. Service, Service error one. there won't help, Lord. Returned in kind Seven. by Levadez. So pressure telling Eight. on these two. It's a three point cushion for. Low, the Singaporean qualifier. It's really looking up for him as they change ends. He's fully aware that great defense earns you some points psychologically, and he's been pretty watertight of late. Just over three quarters of an hour played Never out here on show court eight. one. Play. Can the qualifier hold on? 11 8 to the good, deciding game. It's a little microcosm of what we've been seeing a lot of. There's been confident deception from Lowe and Levadez leaving it all out there, just getting rather unlucky with that dead net cord in favor of the qualifier. Thank now you. then, the attendant will come on. But there is work to do for Levadez here. Seventh seed, very much under siege. Brilliant play. 13, Frenchman downed for the second consecutive time. Almost like a deja vu of the point prior. So much to enjoy about this match, though. And Low so composed and able to come through these tight situations so far. Does he have the nous to find a way through in this one? It would be, you'd imagine, a career result for the young 21-year-old. Oh, 
He's already taken out the sixth seed in one two way. Frenchman from the off looked like he could blow a hole in the defences of Lowe at any time, but now the roles have really changed and Lowe is far more proactive, really kind of owning this performance. That's gone as well, and he's starting to get a little ratty with himself, is Levadez. The scoreboard is slipping away from him. Qualifier, far more intact so far. The way that Lowe just pounced all over the net so quickly there, that was ghostly speed. Levadez knows it. Look at this, look how quick he is to follow up here and create the cross drop. Wonderful play. Look at that. Thank you. It's a magical moment. Singaporeans back home will be loving what they're seeing right now. It's a four point cushion in favor of the underdog here. The unseeded outsider of the long shots is really, really playing a very high level. Yeah, Levada is just upping the ante there with that smash. Frenchman there, hesitant at the backhand. Low extending his leads now. His lead, I should say, beg your pardon. Four point lead it is. Levadez with power on tap, but we haven't seen that much of it of late. scoreboard deficit now that's gone just when he thought he might turn that point around it's two French points back to back suddenly an anxious look back to his coach from low tight deciding game there's no telling the outcome of this one oh what a point Downed after that one. Yeah. 
didn't need to make the save in the end because Lebedev's just kissing the tape on the way through. Leaving it all out there, though. Kin Yu Lo. He's getting quite an appetite, the young Singaporean, for seeded scalps, having taken down Wang, the Wang Tzu Wei from Chinese Taipei in the round prior, an hour and nine minutes. He's not far off scalping Levadez here. Yeah, too hesitant from the Frenchman. Levadez will be hoping that this man, this youngster, gets a little tight when crunch time nears, but so far he has been watertight and secure with all of his decision making. He's backing himself. He wants to go all the way here. It's gone. Spilt over the back line. Five points between them now, and you sense Lo closing in on the W here. No! After 56 minutes, Singaporean qualifier now has six match points. done it he can barely believe it look at that reaction he's won six matches now this week the world number 125 Kin Yu Lo of Singapore coming through against Brice Levadez the seventh seed down inside an hour 21 14 10 21 21 Match won by 14 Daniel. how about 21, that back-to-back -back seeded scouts 21, 10, for 21. Lo of Singapore through to the final of the Thai Masters here. Terrific reaction. He worked so hard. That was well earned. Look at what it means to him. Never tire of that, do you? Watching a qualifier go all the way. He's into tomorrow's title decider now. There's confirmation of the scoreline. It's Kian Yu Lo from Singapore who continues his fairy tale run here at the Thailand Masters.